just been indulging in my uh, Makona. I know Jamie's come uh, sucking back on his coffee too. Have a check it out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that, bro? Tomato's just buttering coconut oil and coffee. Looks like something the cat threw up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> Gives you energy, so. You know me, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> team, we all woke up to a sort of a cleggy morning, um, had a bit of breakfast, come up with a bit of a plan. We're going to drop down in the valley a little bit and just go for a bit of a nosy and see what happens down there. Just a bit of an update team, here we just dropped down the valley, um, the clouds lifted a little bit so we're just going to do a bit of glassing. Well, Einstein and Jamie have gone in their valley behind us. And uh, Tom and myself are just in a glasses when I'm here. Well, team here, just a quick um, update. We've just set up camp. We've actually moved uh, locations. Um, due to the low cloud and lack of numbers, we decided to go to Plan C. Uh, we just arrived there. Um, we left the last spot at uh, quarter to three. Apparently, it's just down the road to this spot, and we just arrived at nine o'clock. So we just set up camp. We might have a cold one or two, and then um, hit the sacks, and then um, see what the uh, morning brings. I mean. Morning team, we just woke up. It's just going on six o'clock. It's still pretty dark. Uh, she's a bit nippy this morning. Well, Jamie reckons he had a couple of oranges. Uh, now raisins. Um, just going to indulge in a bit of breakfast, porridge, and a nice strong coffee. Wait for a bit of light, then we'll start heating up the river. I mean, our well, team we're all packed up, ready to go. Bit of a cracker spot. The old sun's exposed in the valley now. Bit of snow on the mountains. Yeah, awesome spot here. Oh, well, we'll mosey on up the river and um, see what happens. I mean. Traveling up the river for, I don't know, probably a good hour and a half now. Um, yeah, it's awesome up here. Days of cracker. Just an update team, we've uh, made it to uh, Spot X, we just set up camp. Got the old tents out, it's going to be a bit, bit of a cold one tonight, she's already fresh. Um, plenty of uh, opportunity here, it's the trouble is uh, picking a spot to take all day to get to. Me. Oh, Tom and myself have uh, picked the creek to go up. It's going on 11 o'clock, so it's going to take a couple of hours to get up there. Hopefully we'll go up there and um, spot some animals. We'll see you up there. scared of getting wet feet. Well team here, we've just come upstream a good couple of hours. Spotted our first bull, um, pretty high up. So we come around and get a better look, and then um, spotted another one. Um, just uh, evaluating whether we go up and have a crack. The wind's not really in our favour, but um, you never know what's around the corner. So we'll sit down and have a glass and have to think about it, we'll see what happens. position. It's a pretty good, good indication there on how steep it is. Looks um, pretty dicey up there. I don't know how those North Island leagues are going to handle that. Oh, bro! You probably can't see him from there. Ho, 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 ho. 
<laughs> well team, we just made it back to the camp. Bit of a mission. Uh, we've spotted their first bull um, out of range, so we've moved up the creek a bit further, probably another hour. Then uh, spotted another one. Um, decided to have a crack, so we come up with a plan. Uh, Tomo stayed down the bottom, eyes on with the radio, sort of guided me in. I snuck up underneath, um, under the cover of the bush. Unfortunately, when I got closer, the nanny's got wind of me. So I cut up the side, and I uh, got in between the bull and the nannies and come down on top of them. And as soon as I popped over the over the brow, he um, bolted. So I gave him one. And where he was, I couldn't get down to the bluff, so I ended up going down, cutting down the left-hand side. Coming down and coming back up and then um, come up underneath him and he was there. So I finished him off and he fell off the bluff and missed me by about a metre and almost took me out. So uh, he rolled down probably about 50 to 100 yards. I went down the sc uh, screed and then got to him and then uh, Tom would come up with a knife and then missioned out here. So he did something different, but a rock hopping on the way out. My feet are paying for it now, but uh, we made it back to camp so that's awesome. So we're going to have a bit of a feed and a cold beer. And then, uh, yeah. Hey team, that's another day done and dusted. Just had a bit of food with the lads and a couple of quiet ones. Just about to hit the sack with the old Domex Halo sleeping bag and the Tatonka tent. Um, the reason I use this gear is gear that I can uh, rely on. Got the clothes hanging on the line. Gonna have a few of these. We'll see you in the morning. Me. Just organising some breakfast, um, we've got on the menu this morning. Just some Uncle Toby's porridge, you know, uh, Jamie's whipping up some backsteak from their tar we shot la uh, yesterday. Just had our breakfast, it's starting to light up a little bit now, you can uh, see around. Some amazing sights. Those bluffs look pretty gnarly. We were up in this valley yesterday and I was probably about, I don't know, three quarters of the way up. You can see that far bluff, we were probably about, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes right at the back. And we spotted those bull tars. This side is uh, really bluffy. I wouldn't even try and walk up there. Yeah, plenty of snow up the valley. Mean. Jamie and Einstein are heading up the creek I was up yesterday. Saw a couple of bulls up there, a few nannies, so hopefully they'll get onto the animal up there. Um, Tom and myself are going to head further up the valley, just around the corner, and we'll shoot up one of those side creeks and um, hopefully we'll get onto some animals. I mean, just making our way up the valley. Tom and I woke up this morning and said, Ev yeah, will um, do something different today. We'll do some rock hopping. No shortage of rock hopping down here. Just wearing my jacket from uh, yesterday. It's got a strong, uh, musty smell of uh, bull tar, but it's uh, keeping me warm anyway. I mean, we'll see up the valley. Tomo's just spotted our uh, first two, two nannies, right up there. Um, pretty safe up there. I'm not um, hauling ass up there. Well, team, we come up the stream a bit and then. Uh, we're just about to pull pin, looking for some tar. Then I'll uh, Tomo look on the other side and we spotted a mob of reeds. So we're just going to make our way over and see if they're um, achievable and then we'll make a plan if we get over there. I mean. There's a bit of rock hopping in one river stream. We got halfway across the valley floor and the uh, reeds have busted us. There's only one hind left out in the open. And I'm just going to glass and see if any pops out. Well team here just made it back to camp just having a debrief with the boys. The Madagari's thriving down here. But I did get introduced to a couple of new things. Um, Spaniard grass, aka spear grass, and the South Island sandfly. The nasty little buggers, these things. If I could sum them up, sum them up in one word, it'd be aggressive. <laughs> well team, we'll have a bit of food and pack up camp and then we'll mosey on out of here. Cuz, you want chocolate cuz? We just got out of the Rangi Tata. Just gonna have a quick debrief of what, what went down. The Weinstein's cruising back to uh, Germany in a couple of weeks. Yep. Cuss, cuss, cuss. Got any sisters? No cuss. Ooh. Cuss, <laughs> oh. cuss, what about your mum? 
Go team, we just made it back to the civilization and I'm just going to dodge in a bit of KFC. I'm going to rest up for the night and uh, charge back into it tomorrow. Yeah. Hey team, we've come to the end of the adventure. It's been a big week. I've worked out, done over 50 hours of travelling, got their physical exercise and their sleep temperament on top of that. It certainly started to catch up with me, particularly on that last one. There's a few highlights from the trip other than the obvious. Um, seeing nice parts of the country and catching up with a couple of lads from the Rooster chapter. Old big boy and Jamie and the uh, Prospect Einstein. Uh, thanks guys for helping me speed up the process and achieve my goals. Like all adventures, I don't like finishing on a low, so I'm going to finish on a high. I've actually flown my wife and kids down to Christchurch to join me in the last couple of days. So main team, hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you in the next one.